All right, let's do box 34. And I think this one reads a uh, nine battle for Zendikar casual decks. So that's what they are. And uh, I wonder, oh, I see what happened. I didn't have enough of these uh, thingies to hold the decks together. And so I put them like that. Look at that with a rubber band. That's terrible. I gotta, get, I gotta not do that. And then, yeah, that's not good. I don't wanna do that. No more rubber bands. Look at how, yeah, left a mark on the sleeve. I can't believe I did that. That's silly. That's silly, but I'll get those rubber bands out now, permanently and forever. Okay. All right. So then, let's see what this deck is about. And I'm sure I'll hit the tripod again because I'm sitting behind it. So I see that they are they're effectively modern decks. Oh my god, what the hell is going on here? This is so tight. Um, I don't think that's such a good idea to put them so tight. Anyways, I don't think I was thinking when I did this about what would happen years later. Alright, so mass appeal, draw a card for each human you control. So I'm assuming this is going to be a human deck. Um, I'm sure I did these with my vast supply of uh, Avacyn Restored cards and things from Toolkits. Got some angels at the higher end. Um, and then humans. So angels and humans. And I see that it's all Avacyn Restored. And I'm pretty sure I'm not going to try to put it back in that uh, in that little pocket and I may even choose to not do that for any of these cards uh, because I don't see this is a great card I was looking for it the other day and here I know I have one although I'm not sure I'm going to do anything with these cards other than leave them as a moment in time Okay, so this is clearly a white green deck. And of course, this thing's got renown too, and it's got vigilance. Um, not sure if it's another human deck. We'll find out. See, humans, of course, constructed, but this dude is not. So. It's just a white green deck. It so happens that it's got a bunch of humans, but I'm not sure that that matters. It's got a bear. It's got this guy. So, and it flick. It's got this flicker effect. Um, it's got a battle trick. More battle tricks. It's got two of these guys. These are great. They have flash. So tons of life gain. All right. So that's 28 life right there. And that's that deck. And I'm just going to put them all right behind each other in a way where they're very different. Um, but I'm not going to use these little pockets and I'm gonna I'm gonna use these for something else I think they're a little too tight okay so we've got a red green beater deck um, bramble crush a type of bramble crush not as good as the original bramble crush
This dude is excellent, of course. So I did make decks with some of the cards in my gigantic common on common selection of Avacyn Restored. And then I added some Battle for Zendikar. Uh, this is obviously a red green landfall deck. Red green landfall. Then this is white black uh, from Battle for Zendikar. Oh, white red black. Okay, white red black allies. It must have been because white red allies either stank or I wasn't able to make it look, work well. Again, more Avacyn restored cards and origins. So I just made decks with what I had laying around, just as I do these days. The retreat cycle, which is really cool played with all of them at one point one each one of them at one in one deck or another this this dude is great this girl actually very good card I loved playing with this card and yes this is a uh, blood artist but only for you so it's only when your creatures die uh, blood artist is when any creature dies of course that makes blood artist considerably better but still it's a good critter and even better if you combine the two and in the same deck which I did immediately as soon as I had it on Magic Online. Okay, so that's white, black, red allies. And then this is... This is this deck is centered around this dude where colorless spells you cast cost one less to cast. And they're all colorless spells, I think, except for these these guys, which give me mana, give me basic lands. And these guys, but. That's fine. These are colorless too. Again, just putting to as best a use as I could that gigantic common and common selection of Avacyn Restored. These cards landed everywhere pretty much okay then these this is a white blue deck yeah I can't believe I used that rubber band that was pretty stupid glad I'm taking it off I'm not gonna be using these sleeves anyways I'm gonna um oh it's a band band deck white blue green I'm in love with the uh, transparent sleeves that I've been using for my newer videos. Yep, they're everywhere. At least in this range of boxes. 
something that I don't think I'll ever do again, unless something like a new Phyrexia came out and I knew that there were several commons and uncommons that were complete, completely busted. That is very unlikely to happen. Even with the hype that Dominaria is getting, I don't believe... Uh, I mean, people are crazy about Llanowar Owls, but Llanowar Owls was never busted. I mean, it was a typical creature you would get in every single core set. It's just that in Battlecruiser era, so this is a red, uh, a black, green deck. In Battlecruiser era, we expect a lot less. Thank you, Blood Artist. Great card. There's another dude and another blood artist. This is the one, green black, is where I'm playing that trick here. A lot of sacrifice outlets and ways to exile a creature. Sacrifice outlet, another sacrifice outlet. There they are, side by side, folks. Beautiful. The retreat cycle. Barter and blood. Okay, so we're down to two more decks, and then we can call it quits on this box. The shade. I think I have a total of a playset by now from all the blood artists that I've seen. Uh, I know they were, there were there was a blood artist in one of the toolkits, and I, as you have seen, I usually open uh, four, three, four, sometimes five uh, of any specific toolkit. So that's that must be the reason why I have more more blood artists than a playset. This deck has two of each of these dudes. It's great. Lots of sack outlets. Okay, and we have one more deck. There's too many, too many cards when they're sleeved in these sleeves. I think the transparent sleeves are a little thinner. Um, okay, so this is a blue-red deck. Unblockable. Love it. Even though it only hits for one, you can always uh, enchant it. And then it's, it hits for more. Great critter, I love this critter. You can pump it to your heart's content. Never made this dude work so well, this guy. And we're done. 